back to Step Forward TV. My name is Deborah. Uh, how are you doing today? Thanks for being here again. If you're my returning subscriber, I want to say massive thank you. You know I do appreciate you for being on this channel all the time. Thank you for your comments, your likes, and your shares. And thank you for some of you who knows me personally. Thank you for your words of encouragement. And that's why I'm still here. Trust me. Okay. And if you're new here, welcome to my uh, Step Forward family where all we do is uh, making our self-improvement, improving on our well-being, our career, our family life, parenting life, and everything that can help us to be a better version of ourselves. So today, without wasting our time, I'm going to be discussing some values that I believe that are lacking in our community today. And I don't know if you've recently noticed the increase in the lack of self-respect, uh, self respect for others within our society among our young people among women and why i'm so passionate about this is um especially for us as women we carry so much power because uh, you know god has so much entrusted us with the ability to, uh, to with the ability to bring forth life the ability to nurture and that's why um I'm just so passionate about this topic and I believe that we can be the change that we want to see in people. If one or two people is able to listen to what I have to say today and they are able to make re reasonable adjustment, I want to believe that we can also pass this on to others and from there we make the little change that we want to see in our world today. We are uh, making little impact at every point in time can be the, 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 the change that we want to see in our world today. So today we would be talking about values of a high value women or values of high value individuals. So, but particularly women. I hope, I, I believe this cuts across uh, different gender, different age groups, but I want to address women today. Like I've said, we carry so much power. We have the ability to nurture. And if we could nurture our children, especially our young people, the teenagers, the young adults in our family, I believe we can or make a difference. So I'm going to be sharing a uh, good five values that I believe is lacking and we all need to work on uh, to make our community a better place. One is respect. A woman who is of high value is someone that is very respectful. She is respectful. And she uh, carries on this attitude. Others can easily notice this uh, self-respect attitude, the respect for others in everything that she does. And this, in, in turn, ends our respect. Uh, there is a saying that uh, respect is reciprocal. Now, when I talk about high values, uh, high values, not just because of the kind of mansion that you live in, even if you live in a one bedroom apartment, I want to believe that is your own mansion and you have to uh, look after it in a way that that others would also cherish it as your own mansion. I remember back in the days when I was in uni, you know, we live in a shared apartment and somebody came to my house. and I was like, wow, since I've been visiting a uh, student, I've never seen uh, I've never seen a lady who is as neat and who is as organized as you are. And, you know. Although it's something that I was pleased to hear, but I felt, well, I'm doing it for myself. I'm not doing this for no one, you know. So, and that's why I believe um, the way, there's a saying as well in, in, in my culture that the way you are dressed is the way people addresses you. So, for you to hand respect from others, you also need to show that respect. So a high value woman uh, is respectful, not only uh, out there where, uh, where people see her, but even in her closet within her family, she's respectful. She knows when she, when she should open her mouth to talk. She knows when she's supposed to keep her mouth shut. She knows how to address people. She doesn't address people wrongly. She doesn't lash out unnecessarily. You know, when it comes to respect, I believe you all understood what I mean by that. Perhaps I forgot to talk to mention the, the, the meaning of values. So values are, are the beliefs that helps us or that motivate us to, to act in the way that we do, to do things the way we do. Values kind of differentiate us. Values brings forth a kind of uniqueness in hers. So, you know, as different, just as different communities have different values, as individual, individuals as well, we also possess different values that set us apart from other people. As a woman, there are some values 
uh, that I have that will set me apart from another woman next to me or from another woman in my office. So when we talk about values, these are things that motivate us. These are things that makes us who we are. And uh, in terms of respect, respect, they say, is reciprocal. So what you would not want others to do to you, I believe you shouldn't do it unto other people. And like I've mentioned at the beginning, in terms of social media, we see different comments that people put on, that, that people write on other people's stories or other people's, um, other people's timeline, which are which could also infuriate or bring forth anger in, in other people and thereby leading to to leading to exchanging of, of, of words or exchanging or, or, or what which is known as the banter leading to all, all forms of banter and at the end of the day the person at the receiving hand we don't know who the person is we don't know their what what their mental health is like so in these are some of the things that i've seen you know, living some negative comments on the social media i believe is something that a woman of high value or of, or of high value shouldn't um, be involved in and um, the value number two is apart from being respectful, you also need to be compassionate. So she is a compassionate person. She is someone who deeply connects with the emotions of other people. She deeply connects with, with what other people uh, are passing through. She deeply connects with what might be wrong. If I should say this, what would be this, what would be this person's response to myself? So you have to show some sort of uh, compassion when wherever we find ourselves, whether in the physical, whether in the open, or whether even in, within our within our own circle of influence, we need to be compassionate in our own little way. We know we all cannot solve everyone's problem. We all cannot be. Uh, we all cannot always be there for other people because of our own needs, because of our own unmet needs, or because of things going on in our own personal lives. But in every little way, we need to show compassion. We need to uh, make others who are in need show that we care, even though even if even with, if we cannot meet their needs, at least show some sort of care, some sort of compassion. There is a saying that if you cannot help people, do not add to their problem. I hope that is clear enough. And three, a woman of high value understood that she herself is imperfect. So there is a saying as well that nobody is perfect. The Bible also says that be ye perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. If the Bible uh, knows that we are perfect, the Bible could have said ye are perfect beings. But the Bible says be ye perfect, which means it's a work in progress. So this uh, we have to continue to improve on what we do. We have to continue to step forward, as this channel says. So, so continue to make um, little improvement, every little help, continue to make that little self-improvement. So as a as woman a of high value, you understood that you are not perfect, that you have strength as well as weaknesses. You, you work daily to improve on your weaknesses as well as maintain the level of your strength. So you know your capacity. You wouldn't go beyond what you what will lead you into a catastrophic end. You wouldn't want to start what you are not going to finish. So you understood that you are imperfect. And that reminds me of a book by my friend, Dare to be Imperfect. So Dare to be Imperfect. There is beauty in our imperfection. However, we, we still need to work on that little or that major imperfect area of our, that imperfect areas of our lives that people can use to throw and accuse fingers on our personality. So understand that you are not perfect and at the same time work on your weaknesses. So what are those weaknesses? What are, what are those things that you struggle with? What are those things that could, that could easily weigh you down? That others could easily point to. So we need to work on those things that could easily beset us, like the Bible says. And four, she is a woman that understood boundaries. You need to have boundaries have have boundaries if you don't have boundaries i think as a woman of high value you need to set one and why am i saying a woman of high value i'm not calling her as a uh, women of high value because of the because of the of the expensive lifestyle that we live or because of the millions in our bank accounts no 
You can be of high value in your own little way. You can be of high value to yourself, high value within your own circle of influence or circle of influence. You can be seen as a woman of high value. A woman with self-respect, a woman that respects others, a woman that respects other people's opinions, a woman that values other people in, in all areas. And in ways that you can show that comparison, just make sure you don't add to the problem. There is a saying, uh, it's not even a saying, it's a scripture in, in Proverbs that soft words steers away hunger. So you should be a woman that knows how to use your words. Use your words in a way that had value to other people, in a way that, that is not demeaning other people, in a way that does not devalue others. You don't treat people in an in human way. So you also need to be a woman that, that understood what boundary is. You set boundaries. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. The Bible says, let your nay be nay and your yea be yea. So you, you need to have, um, uh, you, you, you need to set boundaries. You need, that, that there, is a, there are some things that you know that if this happens, this is going to trigger me. Then in such case, you don't allow people to, to pull that trigger. Before conversation gets to a level that will trigger the that will trigger the negativity in you, you know when it's time to move away. You know when it's time to say I've had enough. You know when to open your mouth and when to shut it. As a woman of high value, you need to set boundaries. There are some places, there are some invitations that you do not have to say yes to. It's not every invitation. Or it's not every invitation that you that you accept. Even if you accept them, you don't necessarily have to be present at every invitation. As a woman of high value, if you, for instance, if I'm invited to a club, you will never see me there. You don't want to be in a place where you can be negatively influenced. So as a woman of high value, you need to have boundaries. And when people are about crossing those boundaries, you need to let them know that, no, that's a... A no crossing zone. It's a stop sign. And five, as a woman of high value, you have to be true to yourself. Be true to yourself. There is a saying that if the person you are deceiving does not know that you are deceiving them, you that you are deceiving others or someone, you know that you are definitely deceiving someone. So be true to yourself. You are worth it. You are worth it. As a woman of high value, you need to act in a way that aligns with your own values. You, you, will, you, are, you are someone who would refuse. You are someone who wouldn't compel to do what is wrong, even when nobody is seeing you. As a woman of high value, you are someone who will refuse to associate with things or with people who could easily bring you down. As a woman of high value, be true to yourself. What are your values? Do you have values? And perhaps you've never thought about this. I think it's high time you set some values for yourself. The list for those values are endless. But because I've been pondering about this for a while, so I felt doing this few minutes video could be what somebody needs in this very month of April. And if you are that person, thanks for being here today. So as a woman of high value, you are the one who has refused to act like somebody else. You have refused to act like someone else. You've refused to dance to the tunes that the community wanted us to dance to. You have refused to dance to the dance or to the beat of shame going on within our world today. And if you are that person, you already have these values. Please don't keep it to yourself. Make sure you pass this value on to one or two people who can also benefit from them. And perhaps you're seeing this video and you appreciate it. Do leave me uh, your comment and perhaps there are other values because like I've mentioned there are lots of them But I felt I should just share these few ones with us today. Can you please share some of your values with us? Can you please let us know those values that makes you who you are and a high-value woman is hard-working As a high-value woman, you need to be hard-working You can't be wrong working hard, but you could be wrong being lazy if you choose to be lazy many things will go wrong you wouldn't be able to 
you wouldn't be able to achieve what you wanted to achieve. So a high value woman is an achiever. You, as a high value woman is someone who have goals. What are your life goals as a high value woman? If you consider yourself as a high value woman, you need to have life goals. If you don't have goals, there's a saying that you, those who, pre, who do not prepare to, to pass would prepare to fail. You don't have to prepare to fail, but what that is simply saying is if you don't prepare to be an achiever, if you don't prepare to, to, make, to make it in life, if you are not prepared to work hard, then you are prepared to meet, to find yourself at the, uh, at the bottom. And that is what we want to avoid. We want to avoid being at the bottom of the society. We want to improve on our own standard of living. And how can you improve on your own standard, standard of living if you are lazing around? So as a high-value woman, you must not be caught lazing around. You know, the Bible describes a woman as well in the book of Proverbs chapter 31. And there's a particular thing that the Bible says that struck my mind, which is she finds a, a field or a vineyard and she buys it. So if you are a woman who, can, who doesn't work or depends financially on other people, how would you be able to afford the life's basic essentials? And we want to live above the minimum. We want to live above the, the minimum standard. So as a high value woman, you are hardworking, you have a job, you have a career, you have a business, or you have several businesses. I remember being told by some of my friends that I was doing too much. And at that time, I've not started at all. So as a high value woman, you have, uh, you have passion for a particular thing. You have, you have a career, you have a business. If something is not chasing you, you are chasing something. So you have something that you are chasing, you are hard working. So as a high value woman, you need to work. You need to earn and not just earn. You need to improve on whatever standard that you think that you currently are in. There is always a room at the top. There is always a room to be better. There is always a room to earn more. There is always a room to be better in everything that we do. And as a high value woman, you need to set that standard for yourself. You need to uh, constantly improve on your own standard of living. Thereby also improving other people. Because uh, I believe as women of high value, we have so many other people who look up to us financially. And if you're not hardworking, you're not making, you're not earning enough, how would you be able to support those who are looking up onto you in your own little way? So keep working hard, keep being yourself, keep improving on your weaknesses, and also never stop improving on those areas that you think you are perfect because no one is perfect. So continue to work hard, continue to improve on yourself, continue to improve on your own standard of living. Continue to be respective or to be respectful unto others. Respect yourself, respect other people, respect other people's opinions, respect other people's um, ways of life. And as a high value woman, continue to show compassion. You can never be wrong in being compassionate. And I hope that everything we do on a daily basis will continue to help us to move closer to our goals. And thank you for listening. Thank you for being here today. Don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe perhaps you haven't subscribed as well god bless you and thanks for being here and let's continue to step forward together in everything that we do and i see you winning and see you at the top always thanks for being here bye for now deborah